Welcome back, everybody. The world's first and only implantable defibrillator is now available right here in East Texas. Dr. Stan Weiner with Trinity Mother Francis is here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Nice Good to morning. have you here, doctor. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. Uh, yeah, give us, for, for those who don't know, and you and I were talking earlier, of course, I, I, I've heard of a pacemaker and a defibrillator. What, what's the difference and how does this, this, uh, this tool, this procedure differ from having one of those, doctor? You know, uh, de defibrillators have been around for a while. Uh, devices that are very similar to the pacemakers, but they offer quite a bit more protection to patients who are at high risk for rapid heartbeats and sudden cardiac arrest. It's a fairly common problem in our patient population with advanced heart disease. Defibrillators have been around for a number of years, but they are limited by the wires that connect them to the heart. And uh, those wires are fragile and may sometimes cause problems if, the, if they fracture or break. Uh, this new subcutaneous only defibrillator allows us to bypass some of those problems and offer this type of treatment to patients that otherwise couldn't get it because of vascular problems. Now, of all the places in the world, it's starting here in East Texas. Why exactly is that? You know, we've uh, had uh, qu uh, quite... Um, quite a track record on using uh, new and advanced uh, uh, ar arrhythmia devices and managing a number of different abnormal heart rhythms. So we were excited to uh, jump at the opportunity to, to be one of the first in the nation to, uh, to use this. Uh, we think it's a great technology that will uh, proliferate and uh, be available throughout the region and uh, uh, at other facilities around town. We're, we're excited with that. It allows many more patients to get access to these types of devices. Devices. Where, where where is the device implanted, or are you put on the patient? Doctor? The device itself is implanted under the skin mm -hmm. in the in the chest under the armpit, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's remarkably well hidden. It doesn't interfere with uh, normal activities, uh, physical activities. It has been used in some of the younger patients that participate in sports. There's mu much less risk of the device interfering with normal physical activity. Now, once they get it inside, is there any checkups where they have to go back in? There? or how long does it last? The device does run on a battery. The, the current generation of batteries for these devices run about five years. Uh, the patients do get uh, periodic checkups. Fortunately, the checkups are non-invasive where we use special types of radios mm -hmm. to communicate with the device to get the information in and out of the device and adjust the settings. It is, you've been, you've been doing this for a while, obviously, and seen so much change in technology. Does it, are you ever, do you ever just stand back as a phys physician and, and are you just amazed at the sheer amount of technology? It's, it's come light years in just a short amount of time for, it is, for treating any illness almost. It is really, really impressive yeah. because things that uh, just about a decade ago yeah. that seemed to be unheard really of. unfixable yeah. and un unheard of, now get treated on a routine basis, and uh, the, the scope of things that we deal with is so much different today. Thanks to, uh, in part to the technology and in part to our understanding how this works, we, we're excited to continue uh, living in this in evolving environment. The sky's yeah. the limit. Yep. Now, for folks that are interested in maybe having it happen to them, what are the first steps they need to do to get there? Uh, I think that uh, this is uh, something that uh, patients can discuss with their primary care physician or their cardiologist. Uh, uh, the um, there are fairly straightforward, uh, non-invasive ways of evaluating patients if they're suitable for this type of a device. Uh, patients uh, usually do get screened with a uh, regular uh, clinic visit where we see if they're suitable and if this is going to work well for them. And uh, the implantation process is uh, fairly straightforward. Most patients uh, go home either the same day or the following day. Dr. Stan Weiner, uh, electrophysiologist with Trinity Clinic. Nice to have you here again. Thank you, Thank so, you so much for your time. Right. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Uh, how to pick the right contract.